A landing page gets you book calls, sales, sign-ups, and increases your revenue, but the majority of digital entrepreneurs aren't using one or don't know how to create one that's optimized for conversions. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the secrets that I use when creating optimized landing pages for my clients. And you'll learn how to use these secrets when creating a landing page for yourself so that you can get the best results possible for your service. I'll also show you a tool that makes the process of creating a landing page super simple. So before we begin looking at how to create an optimized landing page for your business, let's have a look at some of the fundamentals that you need to be aware of. Number one, put yourself in your ideal customer profile shoes. Every decision you make on your landing page needs to be filtered through your ICP's point of view. If you don't have an ideal customer profile, then ask yourself, are there people out there that have a problem that I can solve? My ICP's problem is that they don't have a landing page and because of this, they're missing out on sales, book calls, signups and increased revenue. So my solution for their problem is to create a landing page for them that is optimized to increase their sales, increase their book calls, increase their signups and increase their revenue. Number two, your value proposition has to be extremely clear throughout your landing page. Now, if you don't know what your value proposition is, it's basically how your service and offer can be of value to your ICP. Number three, sell the transformation, not the product. Too many people get caught up in their service or their offer, and that's because it's their baby. They know it best and they wanna tell everyone about it. But your landing page is not for boasting about your product or your service. It's a place to show how your product or service will transform your ICP for the better. So the tool that I use to create landing pages for myself and my clients is called Card. Card is a no-code landing page builder. And it's the tool that I'm gonna keep bringing up throughout this tutorial. And if you don't have a landing page or you wanna refresh and update yours, then go check out Card because it makes the process of creating a landing page super simple. And I've dropped a link to it in the description. I'm gonna walk you through the landing page that I've created for my service and break down the different sections of the site and why the way it's structured is optimized for the best results. I've also created a free guide called the ultimate guide to crafting an optimized landing page and you can find it linked in the description below. So let's head to my site and have a look at the first section which is called the above the fold section. Now in the above the fold section you want to include a banner, a heading, a subheading, a video sales letter and a call to action and I'm going to break down each of those sections and give examples of how you can use them. Statistics say that you have five seconds to grab the attention of a visitor before they click off your site, so it's important that you make the most of the above the fold section. First off, we'll start off with the banner. The banner is the first thing visitors see on your landing page and it needs to grab their attention immediately. One way we can go about doing this is by presenting an irresistible offer, an offer that's too good to resist. For example, my banner says three spots available left this month. And then next to it, we've got a call to action that says book a free call now. But here are some example formulas that you could use for your landing page. Maybe shouting out a discount, calling out ICP's need, or literally your ICP. The second way you could use your banner is by creating a sense of urgency to encourage immediate action. So you could use phrases like limited time offer, only X spots available, or increase the urgency by adding a time frame in there. Something like X spots available for month. Another way you could use your banner is by highlighting your value proposition. Include what's unique about your product and why you stand out from competitors. You could use logos of who you've worked with, the amount of revenue you've generated for a certain amount of ICPs. You could use something like the number one rated service on platform, or maybe you deliver your product or service really quickly in comparison to your competitors. So something like a fast two day turnaround. So once you've created your banner, you want to move on to your heading, which is the next most important section of the above the fold area. The header is simple and it shows your ICP's problem and the solution you provide. So my heading is a good example of how to keep it simple. Landing pages for content creators. It clearly shows that I create landing pages for that particular ICP, which is content creators. But here are some other examples that you could use. Maybe you're a cleaning service, so your heading could be something like, sit back and relax, let us do the dirty work. Maybe you're a service that provides stock advice, so your heading could be something like, earn more money with less effort. Or maybe you're a fitness coach, and a heading like, workout plans that get results could work for you. The sooner you connect emotionally with a visitor, the higher chance you have of getting them to take action. 
So after you've created your heading, you want to move on to your subheading, which expands on the heading and further entices readers to explore your offer. Maybe showcasing a clear and quick benefit that your service or product provides. For example, you could say something like, increase your website traffic by 200% with our proven SEO strategies. Another way you could use the subheading is by making a bold statement. For example, you could say something like, transform your body in 30 days with our fitness program. So my subheading is this, turning prospects into clients and visitors into customers. Optimize landing pages built for maximum success. So in that subheading, I'm showing two benefits. The fact that you can get prospects turning into clients and visitors turning into customers. So just a couple of pointers on your subheading. You only want to make the claim if you can deliver on it, which is why it's so important to have an ICP and fully understand who they are, to understand whether you can actually deliver on your promise or not. So after creating your subheading, you want to move on to a VSL, which is a video sales letter. Video content is incredibly powerful for conversions. It puts a face to the name and ultimately increases the trust that a visitor has towards your service. So in a VSL, you want to start off with an introduction, introduce yourself and your product or service. Then you want to have a case study which just shares a success story of a customer's transformation after using your product or service. And at the end of your video, you want to have a call to action, which encourages viewers to take action. Maybe that's booking a call or making a purchase. With your VSL, you want to make it quick and to the point and only mention the essential information. After your VSL, you get to the bottom element of your above the fold section, which is the CTA, the call to action. The CTA is your focal point of your landing page and it guides visitors to take the next step. Whether you want to get signups, increase sales, get more book calls or qualify the right clients. My CTA is to get prospects to book a call with me on Calendly, giving them an opportunity to discuss their needs with me on a free 20 minute call. The above the fold section is the first time your visitors are going to see your CTA. So if it's not included in the above the fold section, then you're missing out on a high percentage of conversions. And finally, just on the CTA, you want to make sure that it's clear and specific. Use action oriented and benefit driven language and be clear about what your visitors should do. Clicking on the CTA should free the visitor of the problem and provide the solution. Here's a little bonus tip that I want to give you around your CTA. If you want to increase conversions, then use a guarantee. On my page, for example, I say no obligation 20 minute call or drop a DM. So this tells the visitors that nothing else is required from this 20 minute call. It's just a call to get to know them. And if they don't want to have a call with me, then I give them the option to drop a DM on Twitter. A great feature offered in card is the option to view your page in mobile view. This allows you to see what your landing page will look like on a mobile device. And as of 2022, there are actually 5 billion users on the internet using a mobile device. So optimizing your landing page for mobile is crucial if you want to see high conversions. What I like to do at the bottom of the above the fold section is add a little teaser to show that there's a below the fold section coming up. It just encourages the visitor to scroll a little further. Once you scroll past the above the fold section, you move on to the below the fold section. And I like to start with building credibility with social proof. Using social proof increases trust and credibility in what you're offering. So you could use impressive statistics. For example, my statistics is that I've worked with over six clients and built over seven pages. But you could use something like over 10,000 satisfied customers and counting, or the number one product on the market. And another way that you could further increase your trust and credibility is by using genuine testimonials. You want to feature authentic and detailed testimonials from satisfied customers. Testimonial.2 is a great place for gathering testimonials and it's the place that I use to gather testimonials from the clients that I've worked with. You can find a link to Testimonial.2 in the description. And as well as genuine testimonials, you could also use logos of brands and companies that you've worked with. So after you've provided some social proof to build that trust and credibility, you can move on to a next section, which is showcasing the benefits. This is your chance to show what benefits your product or service provides, and it's where you really hammer in on the transformation that your offer brings. There are a few effective ways to do this. For example, you could use graphics or videos to showcase examples of your service or product in use. I've created some graphics containing screenshots of client pages that I've worked on, and next to those graphics, I've also included quotes from those clients to. Another way you could present your benefits is by using a table of two columns, one column being your competitor's product and another column being your product and how that compares to your competitor's product. In your column you want to show all the ticks and in your competitor's column you want to show all the crosses. So let's use the example of an electric toothbrush compared to a manual toothbrush. An electric toothbrush saves time, gives you whiter teeth, 
It has built-in timers, it removes 10% more plaque, gets those hard to reach areas, it's easier for people with limited mobility and provides a fun experience for children. And in comparison to the competitor product, which is a manual toothbrush, it complicates workflow, it's harder to clean teeth with, you have to manually count, which could lead to less brush time and dirtier teeth. There's a higher chance of plaque buildup. It's easy to miss hard to reach areas. It's not built for people with limited mobility and it's a dreaded two minute experience for kids. One more way you could present your benefits is by using bullet points. Just bullet point the key benefits of your product or service. So after you've presented some benefits of your product, you wanna move on to the next section, which is outlining the process. You want to guide your visitors through a step-by-step -step journey of what they'll experience. When you come across a service for the first time, you'll want to know more about that service and whether it's worth investing into them. Your visitors will have the same approach. So when you're outlining your process, you want to answer any key questions that your customers might have and you want to guide them by clearly setting out a path of what the client should expect from first interaction to last. Once you've outlined the process, you can move on to highlighting what's included in your service or product. You want to detail what's included in your offer to reinforce its value. So in my section, I've provided different packages that my service provides, an essential, custom and premium package. Then I've just listed what comes with each of those packages. So once you've highlighted what's included, you can then move on to an about us and our mission section. So this is where you basically share your brand's story and mission so that you can connect with your audience emotionally. In this section, I've included a little bit about my story, how my brand came to be, my experience in digital marketing and what my values are as a business. After your about us section, you can add more social proof and endorsements. This is a good time to include any industry recognition, maybe display any awards or recognitions your brand has received. And after that section, you can move on to an FAQ section, which just addresses any frequently asked questions. In this section, you want to make sure that you address any common questions and concerns to alleviate any doubts. In my section, I've just put how it works. I've not actually put frequently asked questions or FAQs. You can be creative in how you present your FAQs. And after your FAQ section, you can move on to reinforcing that final CTA. You want to encourage visitors to take action one last time. Or you can do what I've done and add in a guarantee just before your CTA. My guarantee is that if a client isn't happy with the service they're provided, they can get a full refund, which has never happened by the way. Then after your guarantee or urgency reminder, you want to add in a button that's going to help visitors to take action on that CTA. As well as having an optimised landing page, one of the greatest ways you can grow your business is by having an online presence. In just my first two months on X, I was able to sign seven clients just because I was creating content related to my niche. But you might think you don't have enough time to create content or grow your business online. Well, if that's you, then this video right here is just for you. You can find out how I took two weeks off from creating content, but still gained over 25 followers on X gained over 50 subscribers on YouTube and had over 25 people sign up to my email newsletter without sending any emails.